How's it going, everybody? My goodness, CNN. Hmm. They're in trouble, but are they wrong? How's it going, everybody? Most of you probably know that CNN is getting the wrath of a lot of people out there right now. Um, if, for, for those of you who don't know, they essentially one of their producers effectively threatened somebody on Reddit who made this stupid meme out there where, you know, some decade old footage of, of Trump on WWE and they changed it around to where CNN is the the face of the wrestler that, that Donald Trump's throwing around and and you know beating up and, and putting out there. So what of course, you know, Trump tweets that out and everything. And instead of CNN going after Trump or you know saying something there, this producer allegedly went and threatened to out this Reddit user who made the, the, the gif, the, the, the whole little video thing in the first place. And the whole thing is just blown up because, you know, it's really being seen as the, the giant CNN be, you know, being the bully and beating up on this guy, um, threatening to reveal his identity. Um, because apparently, you know, besides just creating this thing, um, and, and that alone getting the wrath of, of, you know, maybe whoever uh, uh, hates that viewpoint. Um, but it's also it's also a matter of, you know, he's got a lot of other, you know, hate speech and all this kind of nonsense on his on his page. So it was interesting last night because I'm going through YouTube feed there, and and on on one side there there's, you know, I'm watching Alex Becker's channel and his video that he made about this. Using your position or company to damage other people who disagree with you is wrong. Is wrong. That, that, that's just not, it's not debatable. But what we're seeing right now is people inserting groups. Groups that are painting themselves to defend equal rights or, or uh, equal something for other people are using these positions to abuse people who disagree with them. And absolutely, he, he's absolutely right to be just angry at this. Forget about political sides like he mentions on, in his video. Um, it, it's it's a matter of sort of the the big bully CNN, you know, peeking on someone <laughs> like this and really just going after over making a little video. Like it's just it's just the whole thing is kind of dumb, right? Um, in a sense, because it's it's I mean, it's a little video. It's ridiculous. Now, part of me, honestly, um, besides agreeing with that, I think I think so. I think I think any threat to to free speech is just is so dangerous and. Um, someone, you know, a big giant like CNN who can effectively ruin someone's life in, in the way that they're, they're threatening to do, or at least a producer that, that's working there was threatening to do, is just horrendous, right, over something so stupid. Now, the flip side, the only, the only flip side for me is that um, there's a little bit of, it seems like this guy's a tool, the guy that made this, full of, you know, hate speech and it's the, just a, another perspective to kind of look at is you know the effect of you know him being the bully the troll out there who's constantly putting out this crap and this hate speech and all this this nonsense um getting getting smacked a little bit and 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 saying you know with that threat <laughs> you know maybe maybe that's a good thing you know, I think that's that's up for debate a little bit, um, but I, I definitely agree that overall, it's it, you know, it's just it's just ridiculous, right? You know, to, to, to threaten things like this. So, I I think CNN it, it's just you know this is just one more reason that the the, the state of quote unquote news, the, the media that's out there is just horrendous. I mean, whether it's CNN, Fox, MSNBC, just across the board. I mean, when when I have folks tell me that you know they've been on shows talking to a producer for these networks and from the producer's mouths is hey we're just filling up space in between commercials i mean that is so telling 
when it comes to the state of, of, of journalism and news in the world today. Now is that everybody and everything and every paper and every um, news outlet? No. Um, but it sure seems like it's it's the majority. Um, so this is just one more symptom of, 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 of the horrendous state <laughs> that things are in right now. Now at the same time, and I bring up sort of like going through my, through, through my YouTube feed last night, um, only because, you know, right next to Alex Becker's video about this is Casey Neistat's video on this. And if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, um, huge, you know, 7 million subscribers, YouTube channel guy, um, vlogger, movie maker. Um, and he put out a video last night, not not about this subject, about this, but all, but his involvement with CNN and what he's doing right now. CNN bought Beam. Now, a lot of people ask, why would CNN buy a, a failed video sharing app? Well, they didn't buy the app. They bought the technology company that was behind that app. See, there, there's a tremendous amount of value in, in pulling together a team and, and building a company and the infrastructure and the IP that we create. There's a lot of value behind that one app. And that's what CNN was interested in. They were also interested in me because of what I'd done on the vlog. Now, one very important distinction, and I've said this before, but a very important distinction. CNN did not buy and does not own in any capacity this YouTube channel, my YouTube channel. That was not part of the deal. I'll always continue to post whatever the hell I want to post on this channel. Beam, CNN, separate entity. So, it's really interesting. So, again, in that, in that backstory, you know, seeing that he'd recently sold his app, really company, because um, it wasn't the app itself, as he explains in his video. It's it was the team and the technology behind it all that CNN recently bought for twenty five million dollars, and it's been interesting to see, you know, what's coming. So apparently, Casey and his team are working on their own still, but under the big bad boy umbrella of of. CNN, um, but right now being you know left alone to go figure out what that new version of news is, and and this is where this is the whole reason I'm even uh, dealing with the subject of CNN and talking to you about it because I, I'd love to get get your feedback on it. It's it's amazing to me the the state that we're in with you know any dummy in his car can go and make a video on a YouTube channel and uh, you know but then there's but but everything is still weighted right like everybody can you know yell their message to the world but it also is still weighted very much so so it means something more when a when a giant like CNN does something than if um, little old me makes a little video and puts it out there or somebody down the street tweets something out and I think and at the same time there's there's a whole lot in between right and I think what what the team there with Casey's developing is 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 a bigger version of that in between um, so it's really interesting and, but that's just you know that's just one example but it's it's so powerful and that's and it's also you know, a, a worldwide example, it's a giant example of of the power that we all have to to do this right here and develop a, an audience, a community, um, a network um, of of amazing people through this this medium, just like this. And and I, and I think you know, sitting back watching this, and, and and of course the the CNN thing, it's the latest headline, it's noise and all of that, and and people, you know, it's passing by, right? Some people get mad, some people ignore it. Um, but what's interesting to me is to take that lesson and take what's happening in media right now. Um, and, you know, how does that apply down to your business? How does that apply to the marketing agency down the street? How does it apply to um, the local car dealership? You know, what, what are the opportunities there to take this this power and this platform and really you know do something with it both and certainly to you know build up your business build up community that way 
but also to, to, to start a movement. You know, it's, it's the most amazing thing in the world, um, the amount of, of people that can rally around an idea and the speed at which an idea and a cause can um, just, ex- just explode these days. I think, it's, I think it's fantastic. And it's a good reminder to us all that, you know, to think that way, right? To not keep our heads down, passive, oh, you know, the news is out there. Well, I think, I think most of us are fed up with the state of that. So, you know, most of us, though, aren't doing anything about it. And it's, and it's important, I think, to pick your head up every now and then and say, oh, I have a voice. I have, I have a platform if I, if I choose to, to accept it. Um, and maybe I have something that will help somebody else out there. Or I have a spotlight that I can shine on somebody who's doing something great. And I can become my own media company and make sure that at least my little part of the universe um, is positive and means something and, you know, sh- shares a, a, an uplifting message <laughs> to the world and, and, and has a, you know, has a, you know, spurs a conversation that is meaningful and moves us forward as a society instead of the nonsense, you know, craziness. It's just for the latest ratings. So I just thought I would share that with you. I'd love to get your feedback, in, you know, in the comments here. Let me know, um, you know your take on the, on the CNN thing, but also let me know how, how you're going to use this platform. You know, use this, and not just YouTube, not just video, but the internet as a whole is just incredible. So let me know. Um, please take a second, subscribe to this channel. Um, we have lots of great stuff with interviews, with, with business folks, with um, certainly on the marketing side of things. Um, subscribe, get these, get these videos, and um, I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.